Hi and welcome back. My name is Jörg, which is German for George here at Find a Job in Germany in Berlin. Today I'm super excited, not just because the weather is nice and it's summertime and life is happening outside, but because another of our coaches just got a job in Germany. And if you're interested in that as well, click on the link below this video that you'll find on how we work. As you know, we're accompanying tech and IT professionals during their job hunt and on their way to Germany beyond the offer until they're actually here. And we even do meetups here in Berlin where we finally get to meet everyone in person, which is really cool too. So you're wondering why on earth that would make me jealous. Well, first of all, let me say that part of our job is to make sure that people like you are prepared for what you know expects them here. Um, that you're prepared when you set foot in a new country. Yes, it's about making sure that you get calls as part of the coaching program, then pass the interview rounds, of course, and get a good offer. But our job isn't done there yet. And this is really important because Germany can be very different depending on where you're from. And while it's okay to be overwhelmed at first, you don't want to be overwhelmed forever. After all, you need to pass your probation. Coming back to why I'm still jealous, the reason is that I know that all of the great people who have helped to find jobs in Germany are embarking on a great journey. Some have never left their home country, really. Others maybe only for, you know, a two-week vacation. Others have been preparing for this a very long time, eagerly trying to make their dream come true. And I know it's, in fact, a great journey ahead of them because I've lived abroad myself. And I can say from experience, it has really, and that's what I want to talk to you about today, my sense of self. In today's world, more and more people are choosing to live and work abroad. That's great. And this trend appears to be a good thing overall, really. Um, studies have shown that international experiences enhance creativity, reduce intergroup bias, and promote career success. But how do international experience and exposure, that's the term that I like to use, really transform a person's sense of self? As I told you, I've personally lived abroad when I was 16. I went to the US to go to school there for a year. I'm convinced that what I'm doing today is still heavily based on my experiences back then. And it's true, you've probably heard this from other people as well. They keep saying that international experience does change people. But did you also know that there is in fact science supporting this? Uh, living abroad is a unique kind of, I would say, transitional experience that may actually increase what is called a self-concept of clarity. The self-concept clarity, that's where you can answer for yourself, I have a clear sense of who I am and what I am. And scientists actually proved this by recruiting a group of people that had lived abroad compared to a group that had not. And the people who had lived abroad reported this clearer sense of self than people who had not. Now, how is this actually possible? Well, when people live in their home country and they stay, they are often surrounded by others who mostly behave in similar ways. So they are not really compelled to question whether, you know, their own behaviors reflect their core values or the values of the culture in which they're embedded, okay? Or in more simple language, your comfort zone doesn't get challenged. And most of your days will be pretty similar. Everything is pretty much the same. And in contrast, when you're living abroad, your exposure to novel culture values and norms that challenges you to repeatedly engage with your own values and beliefs on a constant level. And these beliefs, which are then either discarded or strengthened. And one example is religion, even drinking, alcohol, or even nudity in public. Germany can be quite different compared to many other countries, and that can be a challenge at first until you accept that the differences are neither good nor bad. They're just different, okay? Uh, they just exist. And another example, and our partners from Simple Germany have made a really nice video about this where I had to laugh quite a bit, I have to say. Uh, Yvonne and Jen in this video are talking about how Germans like to shout. <laughs> and while I personally am not a fan of that kind of behavior, it definitely exists in Germany and in our culture. And it definitely has been known to freak out people who haven't gotten used to it after coming to Germany. And Germans are easily agitated, but they also get tired quickly afterwards. So it's okay. A fairly common reaction of expats, therefore, is to undergo an initial phase of culture shock. And culture shock is like an anxiety that I would say results from losing all of our familiar signs and symbols of social intercourse, so to speak. So you know what you're used to, how you used to do things, who you used to do these things with, all that has changed in some form. And yes, if people never overcome this anxiety, 
living abroad would likely be super alienating and that prevents you from developing a clear sense of self and reaping the range of benefits that would come with this sense of self. Um, most people, however, eventually do overcome this phase. Now, when people have a clear understanding of themselves, they're also more likely to project a clear and consistent self-image to others. And this can help you for a better family life, a better career, a better life in general. It actually stands to reason that having a clear sense of self helps you understand which types of career options best match your strengths and fulfill your values. So one might say it even helps you be clearer and be more confident about your career decisions. So I know exactly what it feels like and it feels awesome. <laughs> Everything is strangely new and I know some things are super odd at first. Um, there's different smells, different sounds, different people, different places, different rooms. Um, but it's great because you're moving out of your comfort zone and ultimately rewires your brain. That's how I would put it. You change in a way that you would have never thought is really possible. And I always keep telling people when they come here. Now, be aware, not everyone is designed for it and you have to really, really want this. However, looking back years from now, you're gonna be a different person and you're gonna feel gratitude. Most certainly a different life uh, compared to if you had never uh, left your home country that i can totally guarantee you and my advice to everyone in our program has always been let it happen and enjoy so i hope today's video was some food for thought if you are interested in learning more about how we work what we do exactly you can go ahead and watch our video training about finding a job in germany in tech and it all the best and see you soon